Now, during the height of your TNA run, did the WWE ever try to talk to you about coming over? Because again, I uh, you're, you're like the exactly like what Vince McMahon for so long was obsessed with, like big, big, meaty men, and and you're one of them. Was there ever like a, a point in time when someone's like, "Hey, when's your contract up?" Um, no. No. I am shocked. The um, pe- I, that, I, you know, in the early part of my career, like 01, 02, I did uh, dark matches for WWE. And I'll be honest, I never wanted to be in WWE at the time. And I liked to, all Japan and Mexico, I like just the, the thought, man, I could, for like three months, I can be in Japan. And two months, I can be in Mexico. And four months, I can be in Germany. And come back to the States, you know, that's what's my thinking when I wanted to wrestle coming up. And then obviously WB calls you because when you're 300 pounds and you're, <laughs> hey, can you come to these matches? And I was doing dark matches with them. And that's when uh, Kevin Kelly was the, the main guy. Okay. And, you know, back then you sent your VHS tape to him. And he, <laughs> <laughs> and he yeah. dissected your matches about you know what you need to work on to be get developmental to get to get to move up. Well, one time I sent the tape and I didn't put my proper names and all this because I had a nice rapport with Kevin at the time, and I figured it was going to go to him. I didn't know he got let go. Uh-huh. So I get this call. This is 2002. I get this call, and you had a caller ID from the landline from you know, 20 years ago. Oh, Stanford, Connecticut. Bro, I was like, <laughs> I was like this. I didn't know that. Let me get this. Pick up. It's Tom Pritchard online. Leaving me a new ass. But you sent a tape to, to WB, you address it to me, this and that. You know, I didn't know who I'm supposed to evaluate, this and that. You know, I, you know, I finally figured out who I'm supposed to evaluate. And then you got to work on a lot of things, kid. You know, you already have, you, already, you know, you got to change the whole look. You already have a badass, a bald badass. You ever heard of Stone Cold Steve Austin? <laughs> and this ripped me for about three or four minutes. So I waited for him to stop. I go, sir, thank you very much, but please never call my house again. And hung up on him. Because... Yes, I sent tapes. Yes, I wanted to get a job, but I'm not going to let you just disrespect you. Me. I, you know, not hi, how are you doing? Right. Nothing. This wrong. So, so 2002 was the last time I had any contact with WWE. Wow, that is that is crazy. That because, like, for instance. Uh, I inter- I interviewed Conan and I asked him. I was like, "Oh, there's a story going around that you called up the WWE and say, hey, this is K Dog,' and they hung up on you because they didn't know who K Dog was. Yeah. And uh, he's he thinks it's bullshit. He thinks that he knows they knew who it was. They just didn't want to talk to him. Um, but interesting that the business wise, they would call you up. Like if you're trying to you know help out the young audience or the young kids yeah. who are trying to get in the business, calling them up and giving some advice, not talking them talking to them like your dad. Hey, listen. You're grounded for not cleaning your room. And, and you're right. You didn't know Kevin Kelly wasn't yeah. still there. It wasn't like you had like emails sent to you from the WWE yeah. with the, the internal logs yeah. of who works and who doesn't work there. How the hell do yeah. you know? That's crazy. That is that is nuts because you hear stories about Dr. Tom Pritchard, but some people who are obviously trained by him are not going to badmouth yeah. him. <clears throat> and that's the interesting oh, – Oh, no, no, you're not bad. No, 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 no. I'm just telling you exactly what happened. Ex- exactly, <laughs> exactly. It, it could have been, it could, I mean, I'm, I, don't, I don't mean to be rude by this. It could have been God who called me and said, this, <laughs> oh, don't call the house. That's interesting. Yeah, because, you know, you always hear the, the tapes or, like, people would watch them. Howard Finkel, I remember being a big proponent of watching those tapes and, and seeing what talent had and what didn't have. And, um, like, he had the job to watch. He had to watch all those WCW Nitros. He had to watch all those ECW uh, episodes are on it, like, one in the morning where I lived on the Spanish channel for some strange reason. But it was. It was on Telemundo at one in the morning, ECW. Uh-huh.